Wing mirror glass change on a Skoda Fabia, Mark 1, 99-2007. If we take a look at the mirror glass, we can see there's a gap round the edge, especially on the outside edge, just here. And we can take advantage of that to take it out. Go inside the car, in my case I can do this electrically, but you might have a manual adjuster. What you want to be doing is turning it to its extreme edge so you can get your fingers behind it. And I found you can do this by turning it downwards as far as it'll go and inwards as far as it goes. But before I do this, there's one word of caution. You're better off doing this when you've actually broken the glass. Then it doesn't matter what you do as it's quite a delicate operation. And as you can't see the clips until you've taken it out, there is a risk of cracking the glass. This is about the best view I'm able to get. The glass actually sticks onto a plastic backing plate which has then a circular clip design integrated into it which you can just about see the top edge here. If you're really good you can probably put a tool in here to release the top clip and then slowly the other ones. Disconnect the battery Insert a small flat bladed screwdriver in between the loop clip and the backing plate just here and gently prise it loose. And there's another one at the other side just out of sight and do the same there. Here's the first clip. and there's the second one which you need to push up against. Once you've released those it's just a simple question of just pulling the other two clips at the bottom away. If you try to just get the glass out with your fingers this is what happened to me earlier. I think what's happened here is uh, I've actually detached the mounting plate from the motor. They're not supposed to do that. Hopefully nothing's broken and I can just put it back on in place. Take the electrical connections off. Looks like there's two swivel type pins that must clip into the back of the motor. And I can see where the pegs fit on, just here. And a ball and socket joint in the centre. So I'll have to prise the backing plate off the other backing plate on the mirror. They usually detach easier than that, but this has never been replaced and it's quite old and grimy. So it must be just a bit jammed up and it seems quite stuck in place. I've just got to be a bit cautious with taking this backing plate off as I don't want to break it. It seems quite stuck. With the motor backing plate off you can now see the actual mirror backing plate which is the bit that's supposed to come off. Here are the clips around the outside perimeter and if it's heated it'll have two clips going to a heating element on the back of the mirror. While I've got the motor backing plate off I'll just show you how it fits onto the mirror backing plate. As you can see once you've aligned it it just push clips into place. As the mount came off in my case, it does give us the opportunity to look at the motor itself in the housing and how the backing plate or the motor mounting plate fits on. Maybe they improved these in later models or it was me just being a bit ham-fisted.
Anyway, I just had to align the plate onto the socket and clips and push it firmly home onto the motor. And I'll push it back into the same orientation as it was when I took the mirror off. So the motor is in the correct alignment. Now the motor mounting is in place. I just need to connect the heating element contacts, making sure they're a tight fit. If they aren't, you just want to nip them up a bit with a pair of pliers. And then it should be an easy job just to align the mirror and push back in the centre and it'll clip all the way around, like so. Reattach the battery. And clean the mirror of course. Then all I've got to do is go inside the car and test the electric adjustment of the mirror is working fully. Hope this helped you out guys and as always thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next video.